what's going on traders i hope you all guys having a great time it's rafael here from the genius trading team and in this video i want to give you an introduction to forex trading um first of all i want to talk to you about what a market is well a market is a place where people meet to buy and sell things or products or services or digital things or an online course like this one and there are a lot of financial markets we have the stock market the currency market aka the forex market we have a market for metals and indices and all these different markets consists of buyers and sellers they create the market sellers equals supply and buyers equals demand if there is more demand than supply then the price will go up if there is more supply than demand then the price will go down let me give you an example of supply and demand for a classic car like the Lamborghini Miura exactly 275 of the model P400 were produced between 1966 and 1969 and the price was around 20,000 US dollars which equals around 157,600 today so this car was limited to only 275 cars so we had a supply of only 275 cars worldwide now over time this car gets rarer because some of them maybe don't even exist anymore and not everybody wants to sell it which means the supply is low and it is very hard to get one of these cars if the supply is low but there are a lot of buyers that want to buy this car the price will go up let's take a look at the value trend for this car from 2004 to 2019 as you can see the price went up big time from an average sale of 293,000 to over 1.6 million US dollar in 2019 the highest price that this car was sold was 2.3 million in 2015. Now check the price movement of this market from 2004 to 2019. Every market works like that. You have buyers and sellers who come together and this drives price either up or down. Whenever you want to buy something, you want to buy it at a low price when it's cheap. And whenever you want to sell something, you want to sell it at a high price, when the value is high. So when you think the price goes up, you buy. And whenever you think the price goes down, you sell. No one will ever know for, fa for a fact what price will do, so you have to have a way to control risk. And in order to make money with Forex, we need a clear direction. The market has to move up or down and we can make money in both directions if we are right so when the market is trending upwards we call it a bullish market and when it's moving downwards we call it a bearish market that's all you need to know about how the markets work for now the next thing I want to talk about is why should you trade Forex aka the currency market well the first reason is because of liquidity liquidity is how easily you can buy or sell something the easier you can buy and sell something the more liquidity you have in Forex you can buy or sell instantly because of the high liquidity the second reason why you should trade Forex is because of the risk control in Forex you can select exactly how much you want to risk per trade you can preset where you want to get out and how much you lose when the market hits that area and you can preset where you want to get out if the market moves in your direction and it all works automatically once you have set the targets the third reason why you should trade forex is because of the time advantage how much time you have to look at the charts per day do you have one hour or ten hour or are you super busy with kids at work and all that different stuff so that you only have like 15 or 30 minutes per day let me tell you that it doesn't matter how much time you have because Forex 
allows you to mold your trading system to fit your time constraints. I need about 30 seconds to analyze a market, so all I do is check the markets in the morning, which takes me around 15 minutes, and in the evening, in the evening, which cost me another 15 minutes, and and that's it. So you don't need to invest more time to trade forex. In forex, we make money when we wait and we wait for the market to come to the price where we want to trade it and we have to wait until the trade hits our targets. So <coughs> for the fact that we preset our targets and the trades get close automatically, we don't have to look at the trades all day long. We can do all the stuff that we are supposed to do and the, and the trades are running in the background. Mm. Well, take this trade that I took yesterday for example. I identified a clear downtrend, so I waited for the price to come to the level where I want to trade it. And after I got my entry confirmation, I sold that trade. At the moment, it is halfway to the target with around 2,200 euro pending profit. And this trade took me around 30 seconds to analyze. If you got 15 to 30 minutes per day, you would be fine with mastery that I'm teaching you in this course. If you don't have like 15 to 30 minutes per day, then Forex simply just is not for you, so yeah, you have to do something else. Um, next thing I want to talk to you about is what is Forex trading? Well, there are thousands of things you can learn about the Forex market, but I will leave all that unnecessary stuff out of this course and we only focus on what really matters to avoid needless complexity. We keep it simple. Well, Forex is the sh shortened form of the word foreign exchange. Foreign exchange currency trading works a lot like stock trading and can be done entirely online. All you need is a broker and an internet connection. Let me give you an example. Let's say you come from the UK and you travel to the United States of America. In order to buy things and stuff in the US you have to exchange your great British pounds to US dollars. So when you're landing at the airport in the US, you go to the foreign exchange counter to exchange your pounds into dollars. So you ask them how much US dollars you can get for the 100 great British pounds that you have. So they will tell you the exchange rate and how much dollars you are going to get for your pounds. The exchange rate determines how much dollars you get. At the moment right now, you would get 131.08 dollars for your 100 pounds. If you exchanged a thousand pounds, you would get around a thousand three hundred ten dollars. The exchange rate changes all the time, so you can make or lose money if you exchange your money in one currency and hold on to it for a while. It could be an hour, a day, a week, a year, whatever it is. If you exchange it back, you can either make some or lose some, because the exchange rate is changing all the time. And why does the exchange rate change? Why can it not stay the same? Well, huge companies, governments, businesses, they buy and sell goods in different countries and they have to trade huge amounts of money to do this. Let's say for example that the US got 10 trillion dollars overall. Then a huge company from the US buys some shit in the UK for 1 trillion dollars. And the money gets exchanged into Great British Pounds. Now the U US got only 9 trillion dollars left. It also means that the UK got richer. The business within that country got richer because 1 trillion dollar worth of currency has flown over there. So the supply changed from 10 trillion dollars to 9 trillion dollars. That means the supply is lower and lower supply means that the demand is higher now which means the price of the US dollar goes up and this is reflected in terms of the exchange rate. The exchange rate of the Great British Pound US dollar on the 13th December was around 1.35. That means you would get 1.35 dollars for one pound. If you take the exchange rate of today, which is around 1.31, you would only get 1.31 dollars for one pound. Let's assume you have exchanged 1,000 US dollars into Great British Pounds on 13th December for an exchange rate of 1.35. That would be 740 pounds point 74. 
Um, let's say you would have held the pounds until today and today you want to ch change that 740 pounds back into dollar. The exchange rate today is 1.31. That means you would get $970 back so that you would have lost around $30 during the waiting time. If it were $10,000 that you have exchanged, you would have lost nearly $300. With 100000 you would have lost 3000 With a million, you would have lost nearly 30000 and so on. But what would happen if you had exchanged $1,000 into Great British Bond at, at the 2nd September this year at an exchange rate of around 1.198 you would get around 834 great british pound for your thousand dollars and if you would have held that amount until today you could exchange it at an exchange rate of 1.31 which means you would get around thousand ninety three dollars back so you would have made a nice profit of around ninety three dollars if you had done this with a hundred thousand dollars, you would have made around nine thousand three hundred dollars profit, and with a million, you would have made around ninety three thousand dollars profit, and that's wonderful. If you can predict where the market is going with an accuracy of around sixty to seventy percent of the time, which you will learn in this course, it can be a lot of fun. All right, so the takeaway is that the exchange rate changes all the time and you can profit off of this. What's even crazier is that you can do this through an app on your phone or from your computer. It is so simple. If you think the price is going up, you can click a button to buy and then you can decide how much you risk and where you want the market to close profits at. And you can do all of this through your phone, so you don't have to go and exchange all these currencies physically. You do it with just one click, all you need is a broker and an internet connection. With your broker you can use your phone, look at a chart, place a trade, and you can use what's called leverage, which is leveraging your current money, meaning that you don't have to have hundred thousand dollars to trade. You can start with 10,000 or 5,000 or 1,000 or 100 and even lower, but I would not start with less than 100 because it would not have a big impact from the money perspective. I would start with a reasonable amount of money that makes you feel comfortable at the same time. So the entry costs to start Forex are not big. You don't need $100,000 to start with because of leverage. Leverage means you can use the broker's buying power to buy more currency. If your leverage is 1 to 100, you could take a trade that is worth $100,000 of buying power from your broker with just $1,000 in your account. As long as you know how much you are really willing to risk and you know how to set it up, you can take advantage of leverage and use the broker's buying power to make a significant amount of money if you know what you are doing. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video. Peace.